Hey, and welcome back to Tesla's Tuesday Tips. On the last tip, I made that silicone mold for my reference cast. Here's a finished product that actually painted really quickly, just for fun. And um, I know I said I was going to use a Bondo fiberglass, but I had this fast cast I got somewhere. So I decided to use it up some of it before it goes bad. Works the same way. Well, that's too much. Same way as two part foam, I guess. You guys that probably already know how to do this. But for the people that don't, so you mix it 50 50. I'm just guessing here about the amount. Again, why I love these Coke cups, you can use your reference point. Now, it's this color now, but it's going to turn white when the mold kicks. I'm just going to pour it in. I had to put a little piece of tape on the bottom there. where Because well, I don't know if you recall when I made my uh, the quick mold. I had it kind of up and I just didn't get it. And the silicone wrapped around the bottom jaw there. But it doesn't matter because we just need it basically you know I just painted it for fun because it looks kind of cool one guy thought I actually cut the nose off the deer that's the idea and that's just like a fast mold so I'm gonna hold this up for a minute now normally if you were gonna do this you would make some kind of a jig to hold your mold up so you don't have to stand here and hold it but this stuff doesn't take too long to kick. Later on, we're going to jump in the Jeep and cruise around and try and get some pictures of the, the fire. A lot of people have been sending cards and letters electronically to us. Uh, um, actually, I do get cards and letters. Well, some people know how to write. Kids, even, especially, can still write a letter. It's amazing. Anyway... Um, we're going to try and show some of the devastation, how close it came. I just had a client pick up a piece, and his ranch was actually right at the point of origin. And he was very lucky his house didn't burn down. They lost one horse and a bunch of outbuildings. And uh, he never thought that it would go from Santa Paula to here. And then we were just discussing how Miner's Oaks was surrounded in Ojai, basically. It's just a miracle that the wind shifted and it went the way it did down the river bottom instead of through the town. So, anyway, probably is going to take a cut and come back when this starts kicking. Okay, can we get the camera in here and show them how this is starting to turn white now? Apparently it's called fast cast because it goes fast. And it'll get hot too, just like Bondo fiberglass. Really doesn't matter what you use, you know. Normally I don't have such a fancy uh, stuff, but I got this from a friend of mine who had it for a while, as you can tell by the uh, condition of the can. My motto is I use whatever I got. Probably hard to see through the mold. I don't know if the light will pick it up, but we can... We can see it turning white now through to the bottom. Okay, looks like uh, pretty much kicked. Now you see this mold isn't going to last very long and I knew that. It's pretty thin here and if you really wanted to make it a good one, you'd really need to build up, you know, a few more layers. But our purpose on this one was just to get the one reference because it's not something we really gonna need to make parts of you know so now, now we're just gonna gently 
work the mold off. And it just kind of pops right out there. We just worked it with our fingers. And like I said, this mold, yeah, it's tearing because it was too thin. But it doesn't matter. Now I got two parts. Reference. And that's the way you can make a quick... And boy, what a difference, huh, when you paint it. Really brings out the detail, you know. But the point is, that's how simple it is to make something quick, just for reference. You know, you can cast all kinds of reference stuff. Doesn't take that long, and then eventually, over the years, you'll develop, you know, quite a complete collection of reference. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Test of Tuesday Tips.